high noon of the empire, many decades thereafter. Is this an archaeological reconstruction, an exhibition about a historical period, a passage to the present? The site overview, blueprint for new initiatives. To journey in order to relocate to oneself, to remap a region, to enter through historical displacement. A rail track, the spine of the show. If, for Marx, the concept metaphor for history was the locomotive, then we cannot forget Walter Benjamin's sardonic afternote. History is not so much a train ride, but grabbing the emergency brake. Installation art does not have to privilege the conditions and politics of production. It is part of its being. Structures as in an industrial workshop. The scaffolding, a grid, a modernist format. The studio space and the site of the exhibition are the same. In the gear, tackle and trim, there is a thingness of things, a bricolage of wonder at the persistence of human labor. The installation is, by its nature, overarching. In a transposed montage of many objects, the imagined whole works a new phenomenology and temporarily suspends historical time. To prize open the imperial image, there is a double take on reproduction techniques. The work of art in the age of mechanical reproduction has entered the phase when the photocopy that, is the work uh, of art. Uh, gets lost or how much of it is retained. Grand picture frames are refitted to become a container. The large glass strips bare the queen, even. A trace, a see-through view. Can this transparency allow for a more playful, democratic viewing? The spatial factor in the installation is paramount. The way the viewer walks in and encounters the objects, the way the body experiences the artifact as physical obstruction and material sign. A barricade, a warehouse, a short history of labor. But this is a story of participation. There is another story, a story of the peasant woman's representation. For instance, if we think of the indigo movement, the indigo peasant struggle, which took place in 1859, uh, Major drama was written about it in 1860 called Nil Darpon by Dino Bondhumitro. The central character of the drama was a peasant woman called Ketromoni who was raped 
by European planters. She became in a way symbolic both of European oppression and of peasant resistance against the Europeans. <laughs> Labour movement makes a noticeable advance in Bengal as part of the national upsurge. Press employees, jute mill workers and railway workers organised strikes which led to the formation of the Bunters Union and the Indian Mill Hands Union. Any object placed in the museum cabinet gets an enhanced value. How it was reflected in different, different voices, dramatic performances, the voice of Nundini. It's a very familiar scene in a way, but it is revived, broken up, mm. and rebuilt in other terms. Mm. Bengal theatre foregrounds declamation. The body is clothed by the text. These dramatic personages are rough and ready indices rather than representative icons. I mean, Kalikate, Murti, Durga, Shagarma, Loki, some of the Javuti Murti, I mean, Indian art college thinking Pasco, Kalp Chan. At a British movie at a photo delay, Lamaki, Habe, at a Kurizan, Putomo, Dini, Tarbul and Aroma Gata, Uta, the Gatarul, Arakakurin, Javan Tipti with the Hurra, which is Napoleon style in Italy. Will these sculpted bodies float down the river? <laughs> Print in the sky. Words shimmer like water, draw up like rain. There is an enormous production of printed text. These seek poetic ascension. They proclaim utopian concepts. The interesting question is, how the domed and perspectival space of the Darbar Hall is also turned into a map, a flatbed design for receiving information, a crane view of an urban ethnography exhibit, a fairground spectacle. The installation functions seemingly without authorial presence as a new kind of genre. The theater of repeated encounters construes an active spectator who tracks the space, carrying a belief in the normative designation of the citizen. A spectator who reconstitutes herself through a participatory presence at the sites of knowledge privileged by the hidden author. A library, a bibliotheque, a storehouse of data, Collective and individual memory can work passionately to provide public pedagogy. In every archive, something new is to be put back. This is where the Viceroy would have sat. Now this space is occupied by 500 individuals from Bengal's modern epoch. And I particularly like this uh, these files, which uh, are so uh, evocative of so much in our lives. But, uh, you know, they haven't... An archival wall. Does this barricade of file boxes contain material which is secret, coded, frozen in vaults, 
behind bars as in police files. But these containers are fragile, porous, rescued from the darkness. They are to be unpacked, touched, held, turned over. Names survive, become contemporary when reviewed. But, uh, you know, they haven't... Nineteenth and twentieth century Bengal had made the acquisition of provable knowledge an article of faith. A specialized bibliography on Bengal and Itihas. A library made up of photographic facsimile. An image pun. The books exist only as spine. Adda, the gathering of men for pleasure, for tea, and talk of politics and poetry. <laughs> Material of art itself becomes a platform where poets read out their work. Adda sessions are organized, play staged, which then are filmed, made into video, and reach audiences far beyond the immediate one. The new Baroque architecture, the diamond dome overwritten by popular imagery. Shadowy figures from the subaltern strata float past fluted columns. Photographic interventions are multiplied by mirror reflections. The viewer looks down into a kaleidoscope with throwaway framing devices. The monument is fitted into a tea chest. The bed somehow becomes extremely, extremely appropriate, yes, right. simply because uh, you still have the joint family structure. That's right. And yes. even though there's so much of talk in the pu public space about the companionate yes. marriage, and uh, the, the bed is the space where Only husband and wife seem to you know, together. interact. And I think that's a, a very different kinds of educational processes are also set into motion, you know, something Absolutely. that's very different from the public sense of education. And I think that these wonderful crop of women's writings that characterizes this period, very much part of this uh, rich harvest of self-making, as it were, I think which hadn't been uh, looked at carefully enough before. And this is where the feminist discovery has been most exciting. And the rewriting of history has been Absolutely. very significant. And I think, therefore, it's important to focus on this innermost space of That's the inner right. quarters. And this as is it the were, innermost. You know? Not it even, is. as you say, it is something of a sexual space, no doubt. But it's not the breathing space. It's it's not the space for birthing no. at all. Birthing but but it is the space different where different they write. Yeah. It is the place where they kind of right. express uh, themselves. That's so right. it's yeah. extremely important. And yeah. uh, you know, I mean, so much of the 19th century texts that have been rendered in other mediums have captured this. And I think uh, some of these representational forms that we have, like the actresses, uh, you know, there we have uh, in the rendering of the private is so interesting. You know. As a form of self-expression, um, I mean, you know, the nationalist construction can't fully take over. They're always trying to contain the woman, but there is plenty of evidence that she's just breaking through, they're breaking out into something quite different. But there's a role played by the man that is, uh, I mean, undeniable sort of, you know, important sure, sure. role. So, I mean, if you remember the Ganudanandini's autobiography, where mm. she has this whole uh, uh, incident, where she describes this incident where uh, her husband brings into the bedroom Monomohan Ghosh, mm. uh, his friend, mm. and the way she sits with her veil and that's right you know yeah. talk converses with him yeah. and he, she says like this was a tremendous act of bravery mm. the fact that he could smuggle in his friend yeah. to meet me 
No, you see, what is very interesting is that these, uh, you know, just as public-private binary <clears throat> is constantly crisscrossing. Similarly, of this so-called modern Western versus traditional uh, orthodox are also crisscrossing. So I think it's it's these uh, binaries, the play of binaries is very interesting. And I think, you know, women's writings have been one of the major sources of rediscovery. I don't think we could have gauged the nuances of the, you know, re, uh, the subtle subversions that are going on. Unless we had actually had occasion to delve into things and so much is done. But, you know, there's a very interesting article on women's dresses and garments. So it's not as if women are going into uh, the public sphere, but the public sphere is coming in. So women have to be clothed differently. I think the, what you've described of Ganula and Andrew is very relevant. They have to be prepared to meet men. Hmm. It's only after that that they can meet. The camera intrudes into the home to reveal the child bride and husband. From the Andar Mahal, married couples come out to the photographer's studio. Facing the operator, their gaze is caught by the mechanical apparatus. Annapurna Devi is the first professional woman photographer. In the museum showcase, below the photographs, is the trail gown of Queen Alexandra, worn in 1906. The embroidery was made to order in India. While breaking from century old customs, in the search for self expression, there were also prostitutes and professional dancers. Binodini and other actresses haunt the modern imagination. And there is a kind of life which illuminates others in the distance. But being fallen, one is deprived of society, relations, friends and companions. None but a fellow traveller will understand how painful and tortured this life is. Through the glass as through water, drawings dissolve in a liquid passage. The image is transparent, defined by contour, framed. That is best. Every age does not bring its own end, does not complete its song. It leaves behind dissatisfied sighs in the wind. The poem, like an open secret, resonates as wall writing in the dome. Digging up history, you can hear piercing through heaps of sorrowful minds the sucker-like sound of hundreds of water springs. Installation is excavation into time, writing on time, open and incomplete. To evoke the towering personalities of Bengal's last two centuries, but escape the homage mode of history writing. Joto mot, toto pat. Many views, many paths proclaimed Ramakrishna Paramhans. The text extends itself to shed light on today's conflicts. The window reflects the sky. Break open the monument. Illuminate the interior with visionary landscape and poetry. 
those of us who have walked in desolate fields of straw on posh evenings, watched the soft river women scattering flowers of mist on the edge of the field. Those of us who have seen the boughs of milkweed and gourd trees filled with fireflies in the dark. The moon standing silent at the top of the field that has no crop. He has no longing for the crop. Shamuli, your face expresses an archaic energy of an age when seafaring youths sailed out to new worlds in search for gold, a metal they discovered that glitters because of the genius of women. And they forgot their grapevines, the sweetness of milk, peacock beds, and drowned themselves in unknown depths of the cruel morning light of the sun. Countless years have passed. Time would not allow man rest to be more restful. Since, Since he had he wanted, wanted something, something, so many, so many rivers, rivers of blood, of blood have, have flown. The, the sound, sound of distant, distant breakers, breakers seemed to, to be the dark inspiration that showers over the shore, shore of a century. century. Something, something happened yesterday. Would it happen again, again sometime, sometime in the inevitable future? future? Shangshare, shablo ki koi lalo ni ki jat shangshare. Lalo ne bolle jat er ki roop, lalo ne bolle jat er ki. Jodi daaki rock ter no dir theke call loli to hoye bolle jabe kache eshe. Yasi nami. Hanif, Muhammad, Magbul, Karim, Aziz, Artumi. আমার বুকের পরে হাত রেখে মৃত মুখ থেকে চোখ তুলে সুধাবে সে রক্ত নদী উদ্বেলিত হয়ে বলে যাবে গগন বিপিন শশী পাথুরে ঘাটার মানিকতলার শ্যামবাজারের গ্যালিফ স্ট্রিটের এন্টালির কোথাকার কে বা জানে গরিবের মুখে না উঠে যে চাল ডাল তেল নুন গুদম থেকে গুদমে কেনা বেচা হয়ে চালান যায় তাকে বলে ফুড দশটা জিনিসের দশটা নাম বলতে লিখতে কষ্ট হয় বলে আপনারা ফুট চালিয়েছেন তা অত কষ্টে কাজ কি ছিল ফুট না বলে চাল বললেই হতো শুধু চাল কাঁড়া আঁকাড়া পোকায় ধরা যেমন হোক চাল মাছ মাংস দুধ ঘি তেল নুন এসব দশটা জিনিস তো চাইনি যারা না খেয়ে মরেছে Oh, my God. 